Hey guys, what's up, Tardick? Your old school duelist, whatever you want to call me, and just let me complain, guys. Okay, so I have some very, I have three things I want to talk about. Uh, two will be something very, really quick. And the third thing is something that I'm going to talk about for yeah, a little bit. Um, the first two things I'm going to talk about is the Dark Illusions. There's two new packs coming out in August. One is already out, the Dark Illusions released for TCG. Uh, the Dark Illusions is the Dark Magician, or the counterpart to Shining Victories, which will include uh, spellcasters, uh, heavy spellcasters, as well as uh, tons of Dark Magician stuff, obviously, because it's the equivalent. Uh, and also the first Synchro Pendulum Monster comes in there as well. There's also some other stuff that comes in there, uh, but it's kind of just like not so important, I guess the best way to put it. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is one more uh, release this month, which is August 19th, um, which is the Dragons of Legends Unleashed, which is includes a lot of dragons, obviously. It includes stuff from all five generations. Um... Uh, a lot of stuff that people have been wanting to come out for a while, and a lot of stuff that uh, was just kind of like, just like, swept under the rug when it came to, oh, this is coming out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's really about it. August 5th, the Dark Illusions already came out, and then August 19th, Dragon Legends is already out, so go ahead, pick up your uh, Dark Illusions, and look out for Dragons of Legends August 19th. Now, the important thing that I wanted to talk about is the World's Tournament ban list. If you guys have not seen it, don't worry, links to everything will be in the description below, as well as a link to look at the ban list, uh, are the two packs coming out, um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, this ban list is crazy. Um, it is just nuts. We got Cosmos are dead. Cosmos are just dead. They are completely dead. We have uh, Farm Girl, Good Witch, uh, Slip Rider, Forerunner, Town. Um, we got Wicked Witch. We got Dogfighter, Dark Destroyer, uh, Light Sword, all banned. Scary Lion. Basically, the entire deck. You just cannot play Cosmos in Worlds at all, which, pray to God, that makes me so happy, um, just because the Cosmos are just overrated, they want to see a variety at Worlds this year, um, and just Cosmos have just been dominating uh, the TCG, because uh, as far as I know, they are a TCG exclusive, and they have just been dominating, like there is no tomorrow. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about that is about Worlds ban list, BA, the BA uh, deck, they lost Utopic uh, Zexel, or... Um, yeah, Utopic Zyxel or Utopic Future, whatever it's called in your area. But yes, that card is banned. Can't play it, uh, which sucks. And then as well as Utopia the Lightning, which is a big four play card or rank four play card two that a lot of people play. They're just like, oh, I got space for two cards. Oh, I'm throwing Utopia the Lightning. Uh, so that's something you want to keep an eye out for. And also the Kaijus are dead. Oh my God, they're dead for this ban. For, uh, for Worlds. Let's see, let me scroll up. You have uh, the Waterfront, the field card, gone. The uh, the Sticky String Kaiju, dead. Or, gone. The Flame Kaiju, gone. Uh, Gamma Seal, gone. Basically, every Kaiju card is gone. They're just out. Um, let's see. Try and Guess, which actually caught me off guard. Try and Guess is banned, surprisingly. Uh, I didn't... Uh, it took me a minute to notice it, but Try and Guess is something that uh, Exodia players play. It's kind of a big card for Exodia, just for the fact of it gives them life, or it gives your opponent life, takes away life, so you can't do the, uh, the Hope for Escape broken loop. Uh, and plus also it helps them give life as well. Uh, so you can't, there's that, the Hope for Escape plays are basically, I mean, yeah, yeah you could play a, a Gift, or what's it? I can't remember. There's a card that just gives your opponent 3k. Uh, you can still play that, but eh, it's still iffy for. Try and guess is definitely the better one for um, Exodia. Uh, and another something that also caught me off guard was the Light Sworn overlay is is limited. 
which uh, surprised me that it's lim- I mean, yes, it's a really good card, but uh, playing it is just brutal. <laughs> it is very brutal. And then there's another thing. Uh, scroll, uh, not scroll, Kobet. Uh, Pendulum Sorcerer. Perform a Pendulum Sorcerer is limited, which uh, if it, with it being limited as well as Dante... Performer Pals really will run slower. I don't know, Odd Eyes Magician is still a thing, um, as well as, you know, BAs can still play with one Dante. Um, but those two decks with them at, at one can hurt a little bit. Not a lot, but enough. Enough to make the deck run slow. So, oh well, I guess. And, yeah, that's really, that's really about it. Oh, Mash Change 2, that's limited. That was something that I saw. Mass Change 2 is limited, which sucks because the, that card is very versatile in any deck, especially in BA. You're just like, Psh, drop Dark Claw. <laughs> Look at you in the face. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my, my thoughts on what worlds, what can come out of worlds? Not a whole lot. I mean, you're going to see a lot of rogue decks. Like, uh, yes, Light Swords are still somewhat playable just for the fact of uh, you still have the overlay. And the overlay is still a thing. But something that I think will give this deck a chance to come on top is Blue Eyes. Since the release of Alternative Dragon in TCG, which means TCG players have access to it. Um, which is amazing because I'm glad I can build a deck now. But um, with Blue, with uh, Alternative being available to C- TCG players... Um, and yeah, no, Worlds isn't just like limited to OCG cards or whatever area you come from, that's the card you can play with. Uh, it's open to a wide range, everything OCG, anything is playable, as long as it's not limited, banned, or uh, semi-limited, uh, you can play three of it. Um, so, Blue Eyes, I think will Blue Eyes, I have a strong feeling, Blue Eyes will come on top, um, just for the fact of it can target... It can say no to a lot of graveyard effects, as well as a lot of deck profiles I've seen. They run Valor, uh, and I personally, I, I would run Valor, and when I do eventually build the deck, which here soon I will be uh, working, uh, probably within the next week, I will be working on building the deck. Um, just because I have other stuff I have to take care of, plus vacation. Um, so yeah, that's just my take on it. Either Blue Eyes or Monarchs, just because of the fact that Monarchs weren't touched on the ban list. They weren't touched on the world's ban list. So with them still topping everywhere, <laughs> they're they're. I mean, they're not like uh, they did top for uh, for TCG. They topped Domain Build, not Extra Deck Monarchs, which which caught me off guard. Yes, I was either Cosmos were gonna come out on top for TCG uh, National or TCG. Uh, the championship for TCG for America. Um, but Monarchs come, actually winning first place, that caught me off guard, especially the Domain Monarchs. Um, so Monarchs, they're, they're deadly. They are very deadly. Um, so everybody, especially Blue Eyes players, that is, that is your competition. A lot of Rogue decks uh, or Monarchs. So, I mean, I... I play Monarchs. I love my Monarch deck. Uh, I used to hate Monarchs, but now I love them. Uh, just for the fact I've learned what they can do, and they're very versatile. Um, people can change, <laughs> I guess. Um, I don't like going against them. I like playing Monarchs. And then Blue Eyes is still a very, very, very good deck. Um, I mean, against Cosmos, I don't think it'll win. I don't think it can win against Cosmos all that much. But uh, things, cha- things happen, things change. So, like I said... That is, that's my thoughts on worlds. Either Cosmos or Blue Eyes. Or not Cosmos. Monarchs or Blue Eyes is what's going to win worlds. Hands down. That is my guess. That is my predicament. And yeah, that's really about it. On for news. So like I said, all links to all articles will be in the description. Uh, links to uh, the there's the link to the worlds ban list. So you can check it out for yourself. If you see anything that I did not talk about that you find interesting, go ahead. Post in the comments below. Um, as well as the link or the article to the to the Yu-Gi-Oh website about the packs coming out in August for for TCG. 
and yeah, that's really about it. And there's one more thing that I want to talk about real quick before I end the video and pose the question. Um, there will not be, uh, this is not a surprise, but I'm telling you guys now that guaranteed there will not be a uh, Just Let Me Complain news next week and the following week after that. So that's two weeks guaranteed there will be no uh, Just Let Me Complain news just for the fact of I'll be on vacation. <laughs> so by the time, so... When you see this, I'm still preparing videos, which is a pain in the ass. But I'm having fun. I love it. I love making videos for you guys. I love putting out content. And I hope you guys are really loving the fact that I added a second video to the video for Friday. Um, so yeah, that to brings the total up to four videos a week. A minimum of three if there's no news for just let me complain. Uh, with the with the world's ban list, what do you think will come out on top? What do you think will top? I mean... People have different speculation. People have different opinions of what will come out. My speculation is, like I said, Blue Eyes or Monarchs is what I think will come in first place. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm not, I won't be surprised. Um, so my question to you guys, what do you think is going to come first place in this year's World's Tournament? And uh, that about, uh, about ends it for this uh, week's Just Let Me Complain news. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos. All links to social media and articles is in the description below. Uh, thank you and have a wonderful, beautiful night day thing or whatever. And don't forget, guys, just let me complain.